and welcome you guys. I got you moving, John. Go ahead and hang them up. You got it. Because we are at Spice and Steam. Uh, relatively new restaurant here in Eugene. Excuse me. It's in the kitchen. And um, what you're looking at is a duck. So that is a duck. And I'm going to introduce you. This is John Lee. Hi. Uh, he's the owner of Spice and Steam. Uh, you guys... Just so you're warned, don't ask to go live or it'll shut everything down. <laughs> I have to tell them that. So John invited us in. I hope you can hear us. I'm going to kind of yell a little bit just because um, it's noisy in the kitchen. But uh, probably, how do, what do you call, this is Chinese food, but it's, this is like on steroids. Yes. And I don't mean that literally. Yes. But I mean, you are doing something completely different. Yes. So it's traditional yet what? It's uh, it's traditional, but it's beyond traditional. So all my chef that's uh, working on the kitchen, they are fully have at least over ten year experience practicing in the state already. So, but they all speak Chinese. They all speak Chinese. They don't speak. English. They don't speak English. They don't speak English. So um, he's my translator. Yeah. <laughs> but come here. I want to show you guys something. Come here. We're gonna watch some. We're gonna watch. Some. Okay, you guys. We are back. Sorry. We just lost the internet for a second there. So, um, McKinsey, I know you're right next door. I'm going to come over and see it in a few minutes. But here, we're inside the kitchen. This is Dad. Dad wave. Hey, hi. He also does not speak English, right? Yeah. No English? Very little? Yeah, yeah. Very little? Okay. So, can you show me the duck? Yeah. Okay. Maybe almost that. Yeah, almost done. Maybe one hour. How long? One hour. So it cooks for one hour. Now, come here, guys. I'm going to take you in here. More food. I mean, look at these wasps. These are, John, that is the biggest wasp I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. You guys, these are huge. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, John, what is that? That is the... Uh, 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 This is the lunch special, you guys. This is the cook, the chef. You can wave. Hi, wave. <laughs> That's awesome. And look at this. I love what they're cleaning, but they're not traditional way to do that. You're not going to see that anywhere else in Eugene. You guys, we're at Spice and Steam, a relatively new Chinese restaurant here in Eugene. Where is the place located? We are on 11th Avenue. Yeah. Uh, 11th and Charnelton, it's right across the street from St. Matthew's Catholic Church. St. Mary's, I've got to go back to Hillsborough today, St. Mary's Catholic Church. This is what John wanted to really show us. Look at that block, you guys, good night. Holy yumminess. <laughs> Somebody, Tracy's going, holy yumminess. Tracy, can you uh, put their uh, address in there for me? It's Spice and Steam, it's in uh, 165. 165 West 11. Would you throw that in there? I'm going to show you more in the kitchen. We got food everywhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, look at this. There we go. We got the rice. We got the beautiful waitress. <laughs> You're fine. Go ahead. I don't want to hold up people's lives. All right. We got this is busy place. Go ahead, just, I'll, I'll move when you need to get going. What in the heck is that? Oh, that's the future. What do you do with that? Uh, just gonna fry it. You're gonna fry that up? We'll see. I'll see. Oh, you guys, look, check this out. You guys have a great kitchen. Everything you need here. Yeah, people. There, we got your address in there. Perfect. So, out this way, John. Come here. It's you guys. It's really loud in here with the fan. So I'm gonna bring John out here a little bit in the hallway, so we can talk like here, much better. So, you're 23 years old. No, I'm 26. 
You're 26. Excuse me. I keep saying 26. You're 20, 26 years old, yep. student at the University of Oregon, yep. and you and your dad are here, and you've got a business here going. Yep. Why this restaurant? Why was this what you wanted to do? Well, doing business is always my passion, and then uh, need to start somewhere. And, and you then, know Chinese. And I don't know Chinese, and I have passion and passion in, uh, in cooking and and restauranting. So, and then we have our family have the source of bringing in talented chef, not only for like Los Angeles but the whole West Coast. So you know the right people to bring yes. in, which is why you have those yes. guys there from China who are Chinese speaking. Yes who understand how to cook the food. And the yes. thing that John was telling me before this, you guys, is you know how some of us Americans, we don't like our fish and stuff raw? Well, they can do both. And so they you perfected your recipe so you can cook it more for us if we don't like it. I'm actually learning to eat it raw because my son makes fun of me if I don't. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Dad, you have to eat it raw. Yeah. It's better. Because you do have that flavor and stuff. What do you guys specialize in here? We specialize... Um, it's the way... It's tri we, we start from traditional Canton and some of the Sichuan style. And the, a good restaurant is knowing the product. Right. You know, let's say the beef that we're getting, the chicken that we're getting, uh, the ingredients that we're getting. Not only the, let's say, the, the right amount of fat and, and meat, but also when, when the whole chunk of meat coming in, how to, how to cut them and how to prep them yeah. Which is why you need people from China yes. who understand yes. the how you are supposed and to do it. Also, how to cook them with the right equipment like this. This whole walk line, you know, is it's it's custom made in Los Angeles, and it costs over like ten thousand dollars for the whole thing. So ten thousand dollars for the walk line. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. It's, I'm going to show you the restaurant in a minute, but I want to go back to the kitchen because they're starting to cook that some of this other stuff. Here you go. Here you go, guys. So we're at Spice and Steam, a Chinese restaurant, been around since January, um, and uh, right here down on West 11. We got the guy, the man. Some of the things that you know, it's kind of like a bird. You know, we try to we try to be a little bit more more creative on on each of the plates on on the different plates. So the art is part of all of this. Yes. I mean, everything everything is more fresh. One corner doesn't like us. What's the name of the place? It's called Spice and Steam. It's 165 West 11th. I put the addresses up there a little bit higher. Um, open when? Oh, we right now we open uh, from 11 to 9 during the weekdays. It started from Friday. We open at 10. To 10. And then uh, we are seeking to expand our uh, late night deliver hour uh, on weekdays. Uh, extend it all the way to the fall in the morning. Because you guys, here's the they, um, 
John is opening a, a new bar in here, yes. and we're going to take you in there and show you. Do they are they going to bring us some food? So if we go look in there, look in the restaurant, then they can we can grab some food because yeah. we're going to try this stuff. Yeah. I got to try this, man. Yeah. So they'll do that for us. So let's go look in here, you guys. So here, let me show you the restaurant. So hold on, we're going to look here. So this is the restaurant. You did a really nice job. Oh, it's not done yet. Like over here, the light, all the lighting system in the middle. Uh huh. Over here. Yeah. These will be all changed. These will be kind of like these small LED hanging lights. It's kind of like kind of stars on top. So oh, all, okay. all the atmosphere lighting is going to be dropped from lower to here. So lighting will be more So cool. really intimate kind of yes. urban that yes. nice. And, and uh, through, this, uh, through this live show, I try to holler at local artists who's interesting bringing their artwork in here to kind of like, you know, Nice. You place all these to kind of like local orders. So you show it off, but you also yeah. make your restaurant like that. Yeah. Let's go show them the bar. Okay guys, so this is the bar. It's not done, but we're giving you a sneak peek behind the curtain. Um, can you turn on lights in here, John? Oh yeah. Okay, so you guys, this is the bar uh, that he's worked on. So that's a garage door on the other end down there that can open. And then you've got this nice bar where they're going to have entertainment. And it's not done because there's going to be some neon lights in here. There, John's turning on the lights for us. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So just a really intimate kind of, a very Portland feel uh, kind of restaurant here in Eugene. Um, John's also going to put some more artwork up on the walls here. And then there's going to be other lighting, neon lighting in here. You know what this feels like, John? It feels like Portland. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't feel like Eugene anymore. Um, because I like just the way you've done it. It's very... Um, very urban but intimate, you know what I mean? And kind of nice that way. So um, that is really, and then your your plan is to have some entertainment in here. Oh wow, yeah, there you go. So that's where the entertainment will be. Brandon says, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we can have karaoke night, and we can have, uh, we have jazz, jazz live music night, and uh, coming up we have some uh, live hip hop concerts on Halloween. So it's gonna be, yeah, what a great place, huh, Tracy? Isn't that cool? So let's go over here for a sec. So they'll bring us some food. We'll t let's talk for a second, though. I want to, I want to kind of <sighs> sit down here next to me. So yeah, we're gonna talk to John. So again, this is John Lee, and uh, owner of Spice and Steam in Eugene. So John, tell me, I mean, Asian culture in Eugene is becoming quite the thing, isn't it? Yes. So is that why? Well, this is what you know. So that's why you opened up Chinese restaurants. Yes. So, Eugene, it kind of, we're ready for this, you think? Yeah. I think so. This isn't the days of Kung Fu noodles anymore, is it? No. You don't even know what that, do you know what that is? When I was a kid, Chinese food was just, like, it wasn't fresh like that. It was in a can and, you know, that kind of stuff. And now you guys have taken it, um, that's why I said on steroids, because that is really, that is really amazing stuff. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, it's my pleasure, it's my honor. It's kind of like one of the things when I, when I look into all the business that I can run. Um, at the beginning, I actually have another kind of like, uh, I was in kind of like a fashion marketing business in New York, partnering with my friend. I had that running and I had this running. And then to look into what I'm more passionate in, um, it's all kind of like dealing with people and you know bringing out the satisfaction to people bring the good stuff and do you think and food is a really great way to do that isn't it yes so are you, in some ways are you trying to show us some culture too yes. not in a bad way I mean not like we're not no. cultured I'm not yes. saying that yes. but I'm saying which I'm not but <laughs> but I'm saying it's a good chance for us to understand that Chinese food is not the Chinese food in America that was 1960 yes. this is 2017 and you are it's a whole new ball game could be well, you should bring some. Have them bring some out for us. Yeah, I will. You I will go do that, and I'll I'll, talk, I'll I'll repeat some of what I've been telling them. Okay. So you guys, we are at Spice and Steam. Um, it used to be. I don't remember what it used to be. I can't remember what it was down here. But it's right across the street from St. Mary's Catholic Church. Um, West Eleventh goes here, St. Mary's Catholic Church, and then us right here on the edge. Um, I think it was a, a, a place where they wash dogs for a while there. I think it was another restaurant. I think it was also a, a beauty salon at one time, a haircutting place. Um, and it, but now it is uh, this. There, you know what happened? We have uh, John is uh, my hotspot. I lost him. 
you're you're my hot you're my hot spot. So I lo- you walked away and I lost you. Oh. <laughs> so I had to come find you. Oh, so um, anyway, you guys, they're cooking us some food. saying flat noodles so I know what that is. Yeah, I can yeah, I can yeah. understand it's that. Mainly it's either rice noodles or egg noodles. And then the rice noodle it's just kind of like you have the flat one, you have the really thin one, and then the egg noodles you have the thick one and you have the thin one. Now what's the meat in this? That's the meat. Okay. Yeah. That's the most popular popular way is to kind of like stir fry with the know why we're waiting for them to finish. What else do you want them to know about your place? So, uh, restaurant is one of the parts, and then uh, right now we try to we try to become a live music venue. Uh, we're gonna have uh, like a like a mention of this. I think it will be kind of loud. Okay, so we'll go out here, you guys. We're gonna, as long as you're with me, we're good. Cause... Oh, there's still our table. Oh, it's all right. We'll sit here. We can go right here. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We'll pop on that way. <laughs> so you guys, I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you this here. Okay, so tell me about the music venue. So the live music venue is it's it's kind of like one of the things because. Um, I don't see myself just kind of like a restaurant. Right. It's I'm a I'm another individual try to bring good stuff as practicing business. Right. So the restaurant food is one of the things when I when I when I have a beautiful plate of food people can enjoy at the same time. What else? That's right. when it, that's when I come into my mind. It's music. And, and being that you're 26, you know there is always a need for more places to go. And, yes. and Eugene, for college students, for other people, um, for me, I would love to come in and hear karaoke um, with young people. Yes. <laughs> you know, places I go are kind of older. So it's kind of you're trying to create that urban scene where people have a place to go. But I mean, you've got all varieties of people in here: Asian folks, other people. Um, I mean, just it's people my age. It's like people are just. Don't you think we're we're in a place where we really do want good food? I mean, we're not ready to settle for junk anymore. 
I think most people don't want the fast food. They want something that's, when you see those guys cooking like that, um, that makes me want, I want that, you know? And so at night, when is this going to open next door for, for? Right now, I'm building. I'm building kind of like the happy hour menu. Okay. So people can come in, you know, like doing kind of like the period of time of three to six. Okay. And have a cocktail and have some things on. You know, everything is going to be on reasonable price. We're going to have ten percent off on all the food during three to six. So and they're going to have a happy hour from three to six, ten percent off on all food, and that starts when? Do you know yet? I'm, like uh, I'm having I'm having my meeting today and wrap up the detail of what we serving in cocktail because let me let me go grab the, the cocktail menu okay all right so he's gonna go get the oh, don't go too far because okay. I lose him oh in fact yeah leave your phone here I think it's still Wi-Fi oh okay so he's gonna go get the cocktail menu and um, they are open every day and it's as I said this is spice and steam and it's located right off of West 11th Avenue across from St Mary's Church. Um, and uh, in downtown, so he's bringing that. And this is John Lee. Uh, he's the guy who owns it. His dad also works here. His dad manages the kitchen, and John manages the business. So this is your menu. So this is the cocktail. Menu. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to show you this. Everything, everything is house house recipe, and we try to make a fusion. And so far. It's coming pretty well. Good. We use fresh fruit, and then we use kind of like plum. Uh, make it kind of like uh, something that will match with the concept and ideas of the cuisine. It's in conclusion. It's kind of like the idea is um, Asian culture and beyond. Asian culture, what? And beyond. And beyond. And we try to fusion, fusion everything as possible. So you want to stay somewhat authentic to who you are and where yes. you're from. Yes. But you also want to eugenize that so that people here, um, they, you know, and then maybe as we, as you, oh, we got food. Oh, you guys, now we got some food, and people are already on here. Go, oh, Rick, I'll be down and help you. I'll, I'll go bring. Okay, John's gonna go get our food. So um, oh, I love this part. This is my favorite part. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, what a cool new place. He contacted me, he's seen our Facebook live shows, and he said, hey Rick, um, why don't you come down and check this out and see if we can uh, do a show on you. So he, uh, he's sponsoring the show, so we can show off kind of new places. I'm always looking for a new place because um, the same old, same old, you know? It's okay, so here we go. Here's our food. Now what is this one, John? That's the ceremony steak. That's what? The ceremony steak. Wow. Doesn't it suck to be me? <laughs> oh my gosh. He doesn't have any silverware. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I don't know how to do this. I'm really bad. I'm really bad. All right. You gonna dish us up? Let me go grab some settings. Oh, he's gonna get real silver. <laughs> or some service stuff. We'll see what happens. Everybody else in here is eating with chopsticks. I am so bad at this. I need to really learn. I need a chopstick lesson on how to do this because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> yeah, you want me to make you drool more? Yeah, let me show you, Tracy. Look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, what is that? That is rice in the world. A, a rice noodle roll? Yes. Everything starts from scratch. Even the pork, pork inside, we roast it ourselves. So you roast your pork. The thing here, you guys, he just said, is from scratch. Yes. So let's um, let's kind of put this over here. Let's go ahead and see what this is. I don't know how to use chopsticks very well. I got four. Can you get me a four? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to dish me up some of this. Oh. That looks so good. Here you go, guys. I'm gonna put it down on the food. Oh. Yeah. What's this? That's the chili oil. Okay, so I just put a little of that on top. Yes. We make we make the chili oil ourselves too. You guys, they make this oil, the chili oil, right here. Oh. So that's a rice noodle.
Tony, that is really good. Uh, yeah, so many, many, many are food. Um, it's uh, gluten free. Gluten free because it's because yes. of the rice. Because it's because it's rice based instead of uh, wheat based. Oh, okay. Yes. So yeah, if you're like on a gluten free like diet, like the, like the like the rice, like the like the flat rice noodle, like what's nice about it, it's com it could be completely gluten free. Even the soy sauce that we use, it can be gluten free too. Oh wow. And, and I'm sure you have vegetarian stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah, so have, they have a vegetarian have, diet. Mass diet. vegetarian diet. You guys, this is so, you know what I want to taste, Sean? The menu, the menu that we're using right now, um, I designed it my own. Oh, you made it yourself? Yeah, I made it myself. So this, have, is this stuff that you like eating and you said, this is what I want to put in my restaurant? That's kind of like, um, what I like at the end is it's kind of like part of the idea. Okay. One person is limit idea, like things that I, that I like, things that I like. What is this? Only, what is this again? Oh, that's, that's the beef. That's the ceremony steak. You guys, look at this. I am not kidding you. That is the most tender thing. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is perfect. Yeah, it's kind of like from the whole chunk piece of steak. How we cut them to the perfect size, small dice. But they're but they're so tender. Yeah. And it's, I mean it's 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 cooked, but I like mine really rare. It feels rare, but it's cooked. Mm. That's the magical of the wok. You do good work. Oh, that's the that's the magic of the wok and the wok handlers. They're chefs. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Okay, hold on, you guys. This is the really cool thing. I don't know what this is. You're experiencing it, but look at this. Okay, so they bring this out on this. This is the coolest thing. Okay. Okay, now what the heck is that? That's in shumai. Shumai? Yes. And what is in shumai? Uh, there's pork, shrimp, and shiitake mushrooms. Wow. For this, uh, we we update we updated this piece a little bit. We bought kind of like um. Bought kind of like a new grinder just for this. Most of the most of the meat we chop, we hand chop. We hand chop the meat. Yes. Now what's in the lower tray? The lower tray. Here's another tray, guys. That's the pork ribs. Pork ribs. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Over for two coffee. Yeah. Okay. So I have. I have got to. Um, where's my little dish? I want these little. Oh, you guys see that? Look at that. Okay. Take a bite and show them inside. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Here you guys. Let me show you something. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that open and show you the inside. Look at that. That's pork and shrimp, right? Yes, and mushrooms. And mush and chanterelle mushrooms. Oh. See the difference between um, that flavor is completely different than that. See the difference between the grinder when the grinder holds this big and when it's this small. The bigger one, it's kind of like making the making the meat kind of like easier to chop. Right. Because like a whole piece of meat. It's really hard to just chop the whole whole thing to to ground. So we bought we bought a grinder just to kind of like make the make the meat pieces smaller, right? And then hand chop them, and then mix together with the mushrooms and shrimp. Because it has a really nice consistency yes. to it, and it's 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 got a chew. Yes. It's not it's not ground. It's not like ground beef or something. It's like got this nice chew to it. One. Um, yeah, you guys. Okay, so again, we are at Spice and Steam, 165 West 11th Avenue. Um, okay, we gotta we gotta try a little bit of everything because I don't want to let you guys down. So this is pork rib. There we go. Ready? Oh, there's bone inside. There's bone inside there. Okay, I will be careful. Are you eating, or is it just oh, yeah. you're just letting me be a pig? Okay. You go right ahead.
Oh, that has... Wow, that's spicy. Spicy? Yeah, to me. I'm a... I'm a... Oregonian. I mean, in a good way. It has a whole different flavor. Um, they... They know me. Great place to eat. Paul Bondi. Oh. You know Paul? Yeah, he, he just said, play here. Yeah, okay, so so Paul, yeah. you played here. Yeah, Paul just, yeah. he just said, yeah, no, they know yeah. me in there. They yeah. know me in there. Yeah. Paul's that. Love Paul. Paul's kind of an infamous guy yeah. in Eugene, aren't you, Paul? Mm. Hi, Paul. Guys, <laughs> again, this is Johnny Lee, John Lee, uh, from Spice and Steam. Um, <laughs> Tracy says, thanks for taking one for the team, Rick. Yeah. I know, I have to suffer. I have to eat the food for you guys so that you can understand it and experience it. I appreciate, Tracy, that you understand that. It's not just about me wanting to eat and having food. It's about doing it for you. I think we have enough food to go. To go to have your food. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh my gosh, we're, we're, you guys, we're out of time, but here's, tell them anything else, John, you want, to, want them to know. Yeah, this is the, this is the whole menu. So that's the menu. Again, you're open from when to when? Uh, we open from uh, 11 to 9 during weekdays and 10 to 10 during week, uh, weekends on dining hours. Okay. And then coming up, we're going to do uh, late night deliver, expanding the hours till 12 in the morning on weekdays and 2 in the morning on the weekends. Uh, Paul says, looking forward to playing music there again. Yes, so that's something we have to keep in touch. At. Yeah, you know, we're making the regular schedule. So right? let him know. Let him know, yes. Paul. Get him on yes. your schedule. Yes. Uh, Jack and I'll be up soon. Okay, Tracy, just come in, you guys. If you come in, just tell him you saw it on the show. Um, that'd be great. And just to let him know that you were watching and you were out there paying attention. So again, thank you for sponsoring the show. Thank you. No, you're welcome. And introduce me to your dad and the cooks and the chefs and everybody back in the kitchen. Uh, so again, Spice and Steam, 165 West 11th Avenue in Eugene, newest Chinese food, and it's not your mother's Chinese food anymore. This is Chinese food that is delicious, high quality, and, and well, well, well worth your time. Yeah. They're about to bring the duck out. Oh, they're going to bring duck. Okay, hang on. Okay. We'll check the kitchen. I got to have a little duck, right? Um, so John Lee, again, the owner. Um, talking about his new restaurant. Uh, they started, opened up in January. And, um, okay, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love these rolls. I had these for the first time. You guys, check this out. Wow. Oh, look at that. So that's the roast duck we just saw in there. And these are those little rice rolls, right? They, these are really, they're not, they're not rice. Okay. Yeah, they're sorry to find It's kind of like soft taco. It's like a little soft taco. Oh my gosh. Okay, so before I shut you guys off, I'm going to try the duck. Um, I've not really done duck a lot. Uh, I'm sure, I'm kind of sure. Okay, so, uh, show me what to do. Grab one of these. Microwave. Get a bun. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, oh, excuse me, you go ahead. Let me here. Just get a little section. Yeah. Oh, that one's perfect. Okay. So you get a little section of duck. Yes. Stick it in the little sandwich. Yes. And then. Uh, oh, lettuce. Want, yes. Oh, that's uh, that's green onion. Then some green onion on top of that. And then that's the that's the sauce. Do you just dip it in there, or that do you put it on it? Either way. Either way. You know, either let's way. let's do what let's do what's culturally right. Yeah. For a little bit. And what's that sauce? Can you tell that's, them? Uh, I think that's kind of like the. Like a plum sauce. A plum sauce, okay. Mm. 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 Oh, man. Yeah. That does not taste like chicken. It tastes better. Yeah. Wow. Mm. <laughs> she said, I'm not sure about eating duck in Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> it's different duck. Yeah. It's different duck. Wrong duck, Tracy. It's a different duck than that. Steve, you've got to come try this place. Spice and Steve. He's a foodie friend of mine. Hi. I don't know if you've been here, Steve, but we were just showing. Oh, I'll give you one last shot, okay? Mm. Mm. John Lee, owner. That's on my list to take me out when I come. My sister's not here from Arizona. Yeah. Okay, so.
Hold on, guys. All right, Steve, that's the duck. Beef. White noodle. Chantrell mushrooms, pork, and shrimp. And a little, oh, uh, mushrooms. Yeah. That's pork rib. And these are delicious little egg rolls that are with, actually it's an ice, a uh, rice, rice noodle a rice noodle with like and an egg these roll. Are, these are, one, two, three, four, five, six, six items out of 140 some items that we have. So they have 140 some items on the menu. This is the restaurant. There is a bar next door that is in the process of opening. Um, yeah, you guys, if you want to, if you want to go on a little trip, China. You don't have to leave Eugene. <laughs> John made it really easy for us. Yeah. So thanks again for the show. Thank you. Um, thanks for calling and having us come in here. You guys, location is 165 West 11th Street here in Eugene, right across from St. Mary's Catholic Church. So if you guys could do John and me a favor, take this, just share it on your page. Because then anybody coming on there, and if you have a foodie friend, um, share it on your foodie page. If you have a Eugene Foodies account, share it on Eugene Foodies. Um, just get it out there so people can see this new place. And uh, this, uh, you know, we want to keep John going, keep him in town, keep him moving. He's busy, but you can always use more business. So you guys can help. That's how you can be participants in this whole thing. All right, spread it around. Um, I will see you tomorrow night. 5.30, we're going to be at the Springfield High School pep rally, and this isn't some little pep, pep rally. It's a huge community deal. Katie Hallert with the Hallert team is going to take us over there. She's our realtor, and she's going to take us over there. We're going to, we're going to hang out for a half hour with a bunch of kids and have a great time. So I will talk to you later. Have a good day. John, thank you. All right, come in and say hi to him. Tell him where you saw him. All right, bye, guys.